Hi to everyone. Let's start talking about some of my childhood experiences, included in my book, an unpublished book called A Blue Blood Father. From chapter two, The Kindergarten, it starts as it follows. When I was five years old, I was registered in a local kindergarten called Aquiles Chiesa, in a place where also was open a home for orphan children called Oprobi, headed by Roman Catholic nuns. What my parents paid for, my, for this service wasn't so much, so they paid a small amount for my care and I assisted every day taken there by my brother Victor in his bicycle after lunch in the afternoon shift. My brother had also the commitment of taking me back home at 5 p.m. when my scholar day ended. He was 16 years old. Few years ago, I knew this place had been used during the Second World War period to give asylum, sheltering to the Dalai Lama, who is a thankful attitude in a thankful attitude towards the place which had served him as a shelter, came back to visit it. It was in April or May 1992. This year, I was working at radio station in Palermo, Buenos Aires, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. morning shift, and I could not see him. But my elder niece, Aide, told me she met him. She felt amazed by his merciful and thankful personality on that occasion. She stayed there in a Boy Scouts meeting in which she was a member. That's why she was present this day and enjoyed this warm moment. I put my hands in a praying attitude to give thanks to my Buddhist body and to all the Buddhistic masters to save me the explanations about the benefits that one can get in a human and spiritual level when every day one gets in touch with one's Buddhist body. Now it's clear for her. But coming back to my experience in the kindergarten, it did last no longer. Due to my dislikes in having my milk with I, with its cream, without filtering it at tea time. And as the kindergarten was managed and ruled by very, very strict Roman Catholic nuns, nobody could deny in having their tea during the tea time without deserving a hard reproval from them. Besides, I also had my lunch there. Uh, this lunch sometimes was a Spanish puchero which is a meal with boiled potatoes, pumpkin, onions, and other vegetables, including, of course, meat, cow's meat with more grease than meat. And such thing, I found it very, very disgusting for me. I really suffered every time we had puchero for lunch. Shortly after having such bad cooking experiences, I presented my complainings at home. And I was hurt. The final result? I never came back again to this kindergarten or to any other. The consequences were sooner noticeable. It took me at least three years of being adapted to the new situations when starting my elementary school. The only thing that caused me pleasure from this place were Maria Elena Walsh's songs. And I sang them to my brothers after coming back every day from the kindergarten. And the most amazing of it, I was always in tune. I had an ear for music. The thing the most sensible in me, no doubt, is my musical sensibility, my sense of rhythm, music, the ability to keep my, vo my voice in tune whenever I sing. There's no doubt for me that the ability for having an ear for music um, got since my five-year-old later in my life was very useful for my profession as a radio speaker or voiceover. A job I have started since my 20-year-old, of course, I'm counting since 1985, after having passed successfully my three examinations at the National Broadcasting Radio and TV Speakers Learning Institute, called in Spanish ISER, I-S-E-R, in its abbreviation. 
Of course, at my five-year-old, I had no idea about the advantage of having such ability. And now let me invite you to see the first images from my childhood. I hope you enjoyed them. After having seen the first images, let me start with the reading of chapter number three, Don't Pour Your Milk. I was always very vacant, very disguised when I was a child. I hardly could not be careful even in my slight movements. I was not awkward in my movements or to walk, but when sitting in front of the table at breakfast time, Invariably, every day, I had to pour out the whole cup of milk with mate on my clothes. The cup of milk with mate fell off the table and a green stain spread on my clothes and on the floor, inevitably provoking my mother's first upset in the morning, who gave me an up loud slap across my cheeks while telling me, Again, you! Pour out your milk. But when are you going to learn in not throwing it on your clothes and all around? Such scene always occurred shortly before going out for school, wearing my clean school dress, and with no time to waste to arrive just in time. So that meant every morning during my early childhood at breakfast, I had to cry for this. The bad thing is, not at present, I'm still going on slightly absent-minded when I'm facing something unusual, but of course, it is not all the time. And now, let me introduce the next images from my childhood. Enjoy them, please. Thank you. 